Good morning. Here's my boy. Are you ready to come out? Yeah. Are you ready for some delicious milk? Give mommy a smile. Look at that boy. <laughs> you sweet, sweet bug. Hi guys, so thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is just gonna be my simple everyday morning routine. This week, well actually for the last two weeks, my husband has been home, working from home, so you'll see him a little bit in this video as well. But today's video, like I said, is just gonna be our simple morning routine. I brought Jacob downstairs and placed him in his playpen so that I can get his little changing area ready for him. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and change Jacob's diaper before I make his first bottle of the morning for him. So today, Jacob is doing really well. As you can see, he is not squirming around that much on his bed, but lately, um, he has been squirming a lot. I don't know what has gotten into him, I guess because he is getting bigger and more mobile on his own, but today, thank goodness, he has not been squirming that much. And if you guys have seen my previous videos, then you know that he has really bad eczema, especially behind the knees. So right now, I am just going to go ahead and put on his hydrocortisone cream because his little rash is back again, and I'm gonna give his little toes some kisses. I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but I love Jacob's little toes. I think baby toes are just the cutest. So while Jacob is in his playpen, I'm going to go ahead and make his bottle. In the mornings, he usually has 8 ounces, but the last couple of days, he's only been wanting to have 6 ounces. But I think today I'm going to try for 8 and see how he takes that. I definitely don't want to waste any formula, but I definitely don't want him to be hungry as well. So in a few seconds, y'all will see me open up my cabinet door and grab one of Jacob's bibs. If you guys are short on space, then I suggest hanging two 3M strip hooks on the inside of your cabinet door and hanging your bibs that way. I think it's a really good, um, a really good space saver and everything is all in one area. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and watch some TV while I feed Jacob. Now that Jacob is all full from his bottle, I'm going to go ahead and let him have some fun in his playpen while I tidy up for a few minutes, then we will move to the floor and do some tummy time. So one thing that I've learned about Jacob, even at this young of an age, is that he is an independent little guy. He loves to just be by himself and play with his toys on his own. Of course, me and my husband interact with him and play with him as much as we can, but he really is very good by himself. A lot of the times he wakes up um, around 6.30, sometimes 6.45, and he is nice and quiet in his crib, up in his room, just playing with his pacifier and entertaining himself. I will wake up maybe around 7.15 and I'll check his monitor because he is so quiet and I will just find him playing by himself and sometimes he'll be talking, but yes, he is really an independent little guy. So I got out his play mat and we are gonna be working on his crawling. Jacob, as you can see, has been sitting up so well on his own for the last few weeks now and now we are just having him learning to crawl he was doing the army crawl for a while and now he's really picked up on being able to crawl on all fours i'm just trying to entice him as much as i can with all of his toys but for some reason he always wants just the furniture and everything that i'm so worried he's gonna hurt himself with 
And of course, Oreo needs some attention too. So if any of y'all are curious, Jacob just had his nine month checkup last week. So he is nine months and one week and he weighed in at 20 Point two pounds which I was surprised because when we weigh him here at home we he weighed in around 21 and a half pounds but yes 20.2 pounds and he is 24 and a half inches long and the doctor says that he is doing wonderful hitting all of his milestones what we need to focus on now is having him eat more solid foods but over the last couple of days, Jacob has been eating bananas and he has been doing a fabulous job with chewing and he hasn't scared me with a gag once since we started eating his bananas. And so I think in a couple of days, I'll throw in some avocado and see how he likes that as well. And as y'all can see, my husband has joined us. He just woke up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand Jacob over to his dad and I'm gonna start making breakfast. For breakfast today, we're just gonna have eggs sunny side up with some toast and a side of watermelon. While I'm waiting for the oil to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the dishes away and do a little tidying up in the kitchen. So while I'm cooking my eggs, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. I don't really do too many um, of these vlog type videos. I guess that's what this is, a vlog video. But anywho, thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video, which is at least twice a week. And if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. Where's my little mate? After finishing breakfast, it is now time to clean up the kitchen.
One thing that I've been meaning to buy from Amazon is a fruit basket. My husband loves grapefruit. I don't know why, I absolutely hate it, but he loves grapefruit and bought this um, bag of six yesterday when we were at Walmart. But since I don't have a basket, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this Tupperware until we can find one. I was thinking about leaving the basket here on the counter, but I do prefer how the counter looks completely empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it onto my baker's rack instead. Now I'm just grabbing a couple plastic bags to take the oil from the frying pan so I can put the frying pan in the dishwasher. I love this pan, but one thing that I absolutely hate is that the handles get so stinking hot. As you can see, in order to pick it up, I have to use oven mitts. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up in the dining room a little bit before me and Jacob read a story together. And here is my little cutie pie. As you can see, he is in his playpen still. He was sitting with my husband for a while, but my husband, like I said, is working from home, and so he did have to take a business call, and that is why Jacob is in his playpen again. Jacob loves to talk, and so unless it's a conference call, I don't think they need to hear Jacob as well in the conversation. And I am really surprised that Jacob is able to pick up this keyboard. You'll see right here in a second that he can pick it up all on his own. This keyboard is definitely not what I would say is super light, but he picks it up without a problem. He is such a strong little guy. And of course he does my favorite chomp chomp chomp. And the last thing I'm going to do before it is story time with Jacob is take care of the diaper genie and take out the bag. Normally my husband does this because I hate doing this, but today I just took care of it on my own. And I also wanted to show you guys the new wipes that we are using. We were using the Kirkland's wipes for a while, but now we are using the Huggies Natural Care for sensitive skin. And if you guys have seen my previous videos, then you know that Jacob has really sensitive skin. And I was nervous about switching, but he has not had any reaction to these at all. There are all kinds of babies in the world. We got a sloth baby it's called a cub. And a possum baby is called a joan. Look, he's hanging from his tail. He's upside down. And look, there's a little duckling and a goat baby is called a kid. And look, he's jumping up and down. 
So I try to read to Jacob at least two books every day. And right now I am reading Baby Animals. And this is one of the indestructible books that is made specifically for babies. These books will not rip or tear. They are washable and they are meant to be played with by babies. And Jacob plays with this book every day and it has not torn or gotten damaged at all. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. It is Jacob's nap time, so I'm going to go ahead and put him down. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you all back in a couple of days in a new video.